Welcome back to Grand Blank Mitsubishi. My name is Paul Zagman, and this is the 2019 Mitsubishi Outlander LE Limited Edition, and they changed some stuff. So let's talk about what they changed. I'm going to start at the front, taking a look at the vehicle with what they changed on the front approach, and then we're going to go on the inside and the wheels and everything else. So let's just get started. Here's what I like about what they've changed. They've changed the grill, so this is inverted. It's different from, it, from what it was last year, but this is also in a black chrome. So you'll see the difference between chrome on the Mitsubishi uh, emblem here, and then black chrome here. Then you have piano black laid on the top and bottom of that black chrome two bars that we've got here. We went with a gloss black or a piano black, again, right here in the lower part or the center part of the grill. This you saw on the PHEV. So the plug-in hybrid had this style here, but then down below, we've now changed it again. You'll see that on the SE and the ES model, which the ES is the lower model, the SE is the step above ES, then you got the LE, and then you have up again to the SEL, and then to the GT, we picked a middle range that's comfortable, but also has the looks that I think are on point. So they've added this lower piece here, just to give it a little bit more robust look on the vehicle. Now you're gonna be running an LED light, which you'll see that. If I crack the doors open, you'll see that LED light come up on the front, okay? So that LED is gorgeous. What does that do for you? Well, it lets people see you coming down the road when you're traveling about. So we, we wanna make sure your presence is there too. Now the name of this color is called Quartz Brown Metallic. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you, I drove this car home last night and I'm telling you there's some major differences from the 18 model year going into the 2019 model year. What changes have they made? The front steering suspension has changed on this vehicle. So what they've done is they're listening to the customer saying it's a little too loose for what I like in the front. I drove this home last night and it is nimble as an ill-tempered cheetah. I'm telling you this thing is on it. When you talk about an SUV, you really feel a lot of that roll and you feel a little bit discomfort when you start hitting corners 45, 50 miles an hour. Now, with this, it almost feels like you're in a sports car where it really grips the road really well. I love the wheels and they're only available on the LE package. This is gonna be a gloss black wheel with a black center cap too. You have optional black or chrome lug nuts that can go on this, uh, this vehicle as well. You're running the Toyo A24 uh, tire too, which is a good deep tread, great for snow, great for rain, great for wet roads, any kind of driving condition. Beautiful thought behind doing a fender flare on this vehicle as well. That's gonna keep a lot of that garbage out of touching the metal because they're laid in with a, with a nice rubber seal here. So that's gonna keep the body lasting longer. Well, it also keeps from rock chips coming up and down the side of the vehicle. Now you've got a black skull cap with an LED turn signal and the mirrors on the LE as well. And this mirror is gonna have your blind spot awareness system standard in the LE package. Other things to pay attention to on the LE, is black here, black on the wheels, black on the grill in the front bumper cover. You also have a black inlay going across the front door and the back door for the driver, uh, passenger on both sides. So up top, they run an elevated rail that also is going to be black. And standard in all of the LEs is gonna be your moonroof inside of this vehicle as well. So we have the black rails, we have the black mirrors, we have the black door panels, we have the black rims, we have the black grill. There's a whole lot of Johnny Cash influence on this thing, all black, everything. So I do like it. The back taillights are slightly different, but I always love the little things that Mitsubishi does. They've got these little diamonds in here, just trying to show you, we're still representing Mitsubishi triple diamond. What does that triple diamond really stand for for Mitsubishi's message now? It talks about their warranty. Warranty is best in class, a 10 year, 100,000 miles on the powertrain. 10 years, 100,000 miles. I said it twice because that needs to have an impact. How about your full comprehensive? 90% of the manufacturers out there are a three year 36. Ours is a five year 60 with Mitsubishi. That is an awesome influence, right? So have your confidence, drive your ambition, take a look at Mitsubishi a little bit closer. But not only that, that was one, is your warranty. Number two, fuel economy. Fuel economy is huge, right? Well, we've got best in class seven passenger fuel economy available on the Outlander. Safety is not one that they paid attention to, but this is a top safety pick. So you should pay attention to that as well. Price point, that's the number three. Your price point, when you take a look at this, you have 2019 Mitsubishi Outlanders, seven passengers, standard to have seven passengers, available under $20,000. Drop the mic, that is awesome, right? To be able to have an affordable seven passenger vehicle, 
and not look like you're in a minivan or something that's not a, attractive, well, now you can. Okay, black on the, on the rear fascia as well on the limited edition. You got your reverse lights nice and low, so that really gives you a good visibility with your backup camera that's on the vehicle as well over here, standard on the vehicle too. So your backup camera now doesn't have that light in the way affecting giving you a blur at nighttime. Backed into my garage last night, easy as could be, and it does have guidelines on the side of that too to help you get in and out. Now, we mentioned seven passenger. Take these mats out of here for a second. This has got a hidden trunk area right here, so if you lift that up, two headrests and then you have an inflation kit as well that they provide with Mitsubishi. Not only that, but in your owner's manual, you'll also get a first aid kit. I'm trying to think of protecting their customers and keeping their customers. This one happens to have a rear tonneau cover. You have two more seats that are right here and they're as easy to pull up as this. You're just gonna remove your tonneau cover, pull your seat up and you're ready to go for two more passengers in the back, sitting three in the center and two in the front. So I do wanna take a look at some of the interior features with the vehicle. So let's take a look at that. I'll get the door for the camera guy here. What have they changed? Well, I'll tell you what they changed. The LE last year had black interior that was cloth only. Now, if you take a look at this vehicle, sorry, I've got my clothes still hanging in here for my jacket. But if you take a look in here, you've got that suede insert. So you got that Alcantara suede, and then you have the leather on the outside, bolsters of it. So no more cloth, you now have leather. Seats, super easy on these to be able to simply take and fold your seat. You can pull a little uh, tether that's on the side of the headrest that folds it down, and then you're able to fold your seats. So now if you need that cargo room for more of a utilitarian use, you've got it covered. You can definitely do it. When we put these seats back up, here's the thing I like, is you have an option on this to go, how do I want my leg room? Well, you can adjust it because it's sliding, and that's not electric, that's manual, so it's not going to break on you, right? Center armrest too, two cup holders inside of this as well with a USB port on the back side of your center console. Map pocket on the back of the passenger seat as well. So the convenience features are definitely there. This seat is all the way back, but I do want you to be able to see me putting, me sitting inside of the vehicle to go, well, yep, adults fit in here comfortably. You have a nice knee contour as well, plenty of leg room, and you have a stadium seating style. So what does that mean? That means the front seats sit a little lower than the second row. That allows us to not get uh, car sick and be able to actually see out the windshield as well. Well, well played Mitsubishi, good thinking. Taking a look at the front of the vehicle too, standard on the LE package is going to be this new stereo system which is welcomed for sure. That was something where they definitely listened to the customer when they go, okay, well we want this which is the SDA, the, RD, the RSA display. Okay, so this is the step up from the ES giving you Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. How do you do that? Simple as this plug right here, going into your USB. Now your Pandora and all your apps and everything else will work. This is H HD radio and it does come with a three month subscription for Sirius Satellite Radio. Just simply plug your phone in and that's how it's gonna operate. Blind spot awareness control is here. You have a couple other slots, what is that for? Well, when you get into the SEL or you get into a touring package um, in a GT or into the SEL, we not only have blind spot, but we have forward mitigation, we have adaptive cruise control, there's quite a few more options that are available. So if you're very, very safety and technology advanced or very concerned with that portion of it, man, just take a look at a couple different options. Things that I like too is a digital display with dual climate control. Our heated seats are back here and standard on all 2019 Mitsubishi Outlanders. So you'll, you're gonna have a heated seat whether you like it or not. Every one of them gonna have it. So moonroof upstairs on the LE package too, which is awesome. Oh, who doesn't like a moonroof? I mean, it's just, you've got one. There you go, let the sun in. I'm, we're in Michigan here, Grand Blanc, Michigan. So uh, it only has, we only have sunlight for about three months out of the year. I mean, so if you're gonna get it, enjoy it. I definitely want you to see this side door. Look at that trim piece. That is sparkle and twinkle like you've never seen, right? That is all throughout the interior of this vehicle. So every time you go to look in a different angle, you're either gonna have that stainless steel trim pieces or you're gonna have this, which I call it like a tuxedo black, but there's a lot of mica and a lot of flake inside of that. So it's a very attractive look inside of the vehicle. You've got the soft touch dash up above. You've got the leather stitching above the steering wheel, a leather wrapped steering wheel. We've got a leather wrapped gear shift as well. So they've definitely given it a bit more class. Contrast stitching within the seats and again, that, that suede with leather on the outside of the vehicle. Another thing that I paid attention to and actually driving this vehicle was the transmission difference. You've got the CVT-8 in the new 2019 Outlander. So Mitsubishi paid attention to that too. That's that out of the whole torque that you want to get up and get to speed. No problem there. I was running at 2100 RPMs 
doing 70 miles an hour on the highway. So sipping fuel like the queen on a cup of tea. This is beautiful. So take a look at the contour of the seats though too. Very welcoming. So when you actually sit inside here, it's a great contour on the top and then in the shoulder area to really give you a good hug when you're sitting down. It feels great. Honestly, it's like driving this vehicle. I was very, very impressed last night and definitely has me thinking about changing over to the 19 after driving it. I, I took the bait and it was great. I ate the whole thing. The hook, the fish, the bait, the fisherman, the boat, the whole thing. So inside here, this is the 2.4 liter. This is the flagship motor for Mitsubishi. They've been producing this for quite some time. It's the Myvec 2.4 liter, which is, it is, it has been around for a good long period of time, but it's gonna be around for a long period of time because it's got a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty on that engine. Wow. Now, here's the other part about it. Low cost of maintenance. How about 7,500 miles between oil change intervals? And that is beautiful. So you just don't really have to take the time out of your day. Maybe two to three times a year, do you even have to worry about an oil change with the Mitsubishi? Complimentary three with Grand Blank Mitsubishi off Hill Road and 475, you can come up. We got three on the house. So taking a look at the inside of the vehicle, very, very quiet engine. I've noticed the noise has changed too. Why? Because they've done additional noise dampening inside of the 2019. Where have they done that? They've done that in the A pillars up above where your head is as well and on the back side of the vehicle so you don't have bugling from the back side of the vehicle carrying to the front from the air going underneath the vehicle and coming over the top portion of the vehicle. Very easy to work with on this vehicle but the cool thing that I like is price point, warranty, fuel efficiency and safety. If you're looking for that on a seven passenger SUV, definitely consider the 2019 Mitsubishi Outlander and I just like the styling of the LE. So take a look at a couple different options, a couple different colors that we have available, grandblakemitsubishi.com. This is the 2019 Outlander. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Paul Zagman, the new car sales manager. Feel free to give me a call. Any questions that you have, please comment below so we can do another video with exactly what you wanna see. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.